How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Wrecked Videos. Today we have another compilation of funny and embarrassing police moments. No, you could check it, you could look through. I'm going I to. I just have surgery I'm having my boobs done. Obviously. You're going to have them done? Or yes, I'm going to have them done. I'm having surgery in four days. Before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell as there are plenty of new videos on the way. These officers spotted a drug deal going down, the person buying the drugs claimed he was with his girlfriend yet doesn't even know her name, and when asked about the authenticity of his eyebrows, he lies again by claiming they are real. I'm not sure why you would lie about your eyebrows to the police, but let's take a look. Well, I had just met her. So she's not really a friend then? Do you have a drug, a drug problem? No. Are those your real eyebrows? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you simple questions. Just be honest with me, okay? How, how many drug deals did you do today? Only like two or three. Only like two or three? Yes. Okay, well, thank you for your honesty. Okay? I appreciate it. But sit tight. I'll be right back. Yes. Okay. I'm going to ask you simple questions. Just be honest with me, okay? Do you have a drug, a drug problem? Yeah. Are those your real eyebrows? No. Well, both you drug users... We'll not hang out in our city anymore, right? No, sir. Are you going to say no to drugs? Yes, sir. Say, uh, raise your right hand. Are those your real eyebrows? Yeah. Are those your real eyebrows? No. In 2018, distracted driving caused almost 3,000 traffic fatalities. Here's an interaction between an officer who observed a woman texting while driving. watching you drive all the way up the street with your head buried in the phone. All the way up the street. No, it was not. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull you over. I have it on my camera. I have everything. And, I mean, and don't tell me you're on, on directions. No, I'm not on directions. It's my damn neighborhood. Do you really have nothing else? Do you gonna, you're gonna get pulled over. You're gonna pull over into the BP lot. Pull up next to the uh, behind that. Yes, ma'am. Nothing else to do in your damn day, do you? I don't want to be killed by you, ma'am. Pull, pull over into the pull over into the BP lot. She call me a douchebag. I like how she asked the officer if he had nothing better to do with his day, as if pulling people over who are caught texting while driving isn't part of his job. I need, brutality. I need your license, your registration, and insurance. Can you please put your feet in and close the door? Why? Because it's for law? my safety and your safety. Well, you see my hands at all times. Is this against the law right there? Am I not allowed I need to your have your license, is registration, and insurance, man? Even though she was caught texting on the officer's body cam, she still tries to deny it. You're willing to text with your daughter in the back seat. Dude, I'm not texting. You I'm were sitting. typing and you look, there's a picture there and you're typing under with a green text bubble. I'm not comments texting. On a, comments on a picture. This is a little thing. Just okay. to let you, you know, know what? You're, you may be an Go old man. Go ahead and give me. So I use this little thing. Okay, I don't need your insurance. I'll pull, it, I'll pull it up, ma'am. You this. are going to be issued a cite citation today. And I talk in today. my phone like this. That's not Someone passing by informed the officer that even after she was pulled over, she continued to text on her phone. What's that? She was still texting and driving when you pulled yeah, I know. over. Yeah, I know. I was watching she she got got. She's still texting, and I'm the douchebag, and she's got a she's got about a two-year-old in the back seat that she's willing. Yeah. She just mad she got caught. Yeah. Drive. Take care, guys. This is a weird clip, police were called after a lady hit someone with her car who was riding a bicycle. When officers arrived, there didn't seem to be anyone on a bicycle. That is, until someone crawled out of the woods, and then things started to get a little interesting. It says, uh, male on a bike hit by a car. What happened? I don't know. Uh huh. Slipped there. It just slipped off the road? Yeah. But you weren't turning from there? No, 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 no. Only straight. Okay. Yeah, only straight. Tip four, there's no bicycle involved, there's no injuries, cancel FD. Is this the one that got hit? I don't know, but some guy just name? came up out of the yeah. woods. What happened? I don't know. You know how you got hurt? No, I don't remember nothing. You don't remember anything? No. What'd you have for lunch today? I don't know. You don't know? No. 
The lady claimed that she didn't have any memory of hitting someone on a bicycle, but as you can tell by looking at her front windshield and the hood of her car, she definitely hit something. It's quite obvious that she did hit the man, and luckily a bystander who witnessed the whole ordeal was able to shed some light on the situation. And he just got hit by, uh, from behind? Yeah, right behind him. And it flipped him up? Ooh, way up. It's like, I don't know about, about like more than 10 feet up. Really? <laughs> Stand right in front of my car right yes, there. Yes, sir. Nothing illegal on you. You mean me? Uh, yeah buddy, I'm pretty sure he means you. This lady claims that a man she has a restraining order against was kicking in her car window as well as her doors. The man claimed that he never did such things, but I'll let you guys be the judge. I don't know if it's really good. But, and, and, and this isn't as bad as it could have been. I'm just yeah. glad that's not me. Can you explain the footprint on the door? I know I didn't kick the door. Okay, let me explain this. Can you explain your footprint on the door? You don't need police help? Fuck you, pigs. Do you okay. Need, do you need police assistance, sir? Uh, could you get the fuck away from me, please? I haven't broken the law. Okay. Well, we're standing on public property just me like Me too. You. you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to start walking away because okay. I say fuck you guys and have a good day. Hey, have a good day, sir. Have a good day. Take care. Enjoy your donuts, bitches. You look right. like you were getting ready to fly, so I wanted to say hi. Have a good day, pigs. Don't be don't be don't get don't the fuck back in your car. How about that? Get back in your car. Don't cry, okay? Get back in your car, sir. Get back in your car, let me see, I'm gonna record you guys getting back in your car, I have all day. This guy filmed himself trying to provoke two police officers. Unfortunately for him, these officers both stayed calm and had a really good sense of humour about it. Despite all the name calling, they even invited the person filming to join them on a ride along. Let's take a look. I'm sure you pigs will get a car here soon, how about that? Okay, well, me too, I don't have shit to do, I'm off today. Yeah, I'm recording you mother- Police. What's your name, dude? None of your business. Is that your first and last name? Yes, sir. What's your date of birth? F the police. So your name is none of your business and your date of birth is the police? And shove it up your ass. And shove it up your ass? Yes, sir. Is that where you were born? I was born in Mexico. Oh, Mexico? How do I look? Like a you guys ain't shit without your badge, you guys know that. Ain't shit without your badge. The person filming continues trying to aggravate the police, but starts to seem a little frustrated when he just can't seem to trigger them with his insults. You good? We can chill all day. I bet you guys are Trump supporters, ain't you? <laughs> Trump supporters. Oh, good. <laughs> You're, who are you gonna vote for? Don't get close to me, I feel threatened, sir. You just said I could sit next to you, though. Not no more. Not no more? No. I thought we were tight. The police. The See, police. you guys don't have shit to do but with hey, people. Man, I was expressing my freedom of speech. Why are you guys fing with me? I'm expressing my freedom of speech. I don't have freedom of speech. What's up with that? I don't have freedom of speech. What's your guys' names? Can you get a close up? No, sir. Come on, get a close-up. I can't. I need your badge number. It's right there, dude. Get a close-up. I can't. I mean, you're not detained or anything, so I mean... I know. I'm just chilling with you pigs, seeing where, how far you guys take it. You want to go for a ride-along or what? Nah, I'm all right. Why don't you go across the street and put in an application to do a ride-along? I got a good job, bro. So I don't need that shit. Belt. We're hiring. Nah, I'm good. Come in and change the game, dude. You know what, I'm getting going. I got better shit to do than with right. fucking sit here and talk with you bitches. Uh, fuck you guys and have a good day. Alright bro. Fucking pigs. My favorite part of that clip was how the cop said they're hiring. He told him to come and change the game, and then the person filming said he had to go. He's got better things to do, but somehow I doubt that. That's it for part one of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know which clip was your favorite. New video tomorrow, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.